For Canadians with ties to Ukraine, the shock and worry of this week have been a lot to bear with more to come. Canada has one of the world's largest Ukrainian populations with around 1.3 million Canadians who have Ukrainian ancestry. For more on what Ukrainian communities in Canada are doing, how they're responding, we're joined again by Mark Schweck. He is the chair of the Stand with Ukraine committee. Welcome back to your morning. Thank you. Good morning. We have been watching with great urgency the developments since late last night and into the morning, as have you. What are you hearing from family and friends in Ukraine today, in particular in relation to what's happening in the capital? Well, I'm hearing two things. One is that, um, first, people are very concerned. Um, they are saddened that it happened. They're concerned that it happened. They're worried about their welfare. Uh, those with families, of course, are more concerned. Um, some have chosen to leave Ukraine uh, through the western border, um, especially those with families. They're trying to ensure that their children are protected. Uh, the elderly are uh, sort of stuck in place. My neighbor's wife uh, is sitting in her apartment. Uh, sorry, my neighbor's wife's mother is sitting in her apartment building, and saying, "I've got nowhere to go. I've, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, 71 years old, and I have absolutely nowhere to go. And uh, we hear shelling all around and." God, God bless us. I hope it doesn't hit my building because I can't even make it to the bomb shelters fast enough. She's oh. on the uh, uh, 13th floor, and it's uh, it's a long way down. Um, the other the other people we're hearing from are people who have friends and family on the front lines. The soldiers are are putting up a brave stand. They're outnumbered tremendously, but they're not giving up. And of course, if you have a husband or a son out on the front line, you're very worried. You are the vice president of the Toronto branch of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress. You're also the chair of the Stand with Ukraine committee. What solidarity events are now being planned? We've seen uh, we've seen support from right across the country. Absolutely, we've had a number of very good events. Our our, our next one is today, five o'clock, at the Ukrainian consulate on Lake Shore in, in Etobicoke. We're there to uh, show our support to the Ukrainian people through their consulate, and we're going to have a small prayer service and then a number of uh, uh, speeches from politicians and guests from other communities. We ask all community members from all different Canadian walks of life. You don't have to be Ukrainian to come and support the Ukrainian people. We ask you to join us at five o'clock today. Uh, the other event we have is a mega march on Sunday at two o'clock. Going to start at Young and Dundas Square at two o'clock. If you can join us and we'll be heading out to, um, to Nathan Phillips Square. So if you can join us, uh, again, if you have family members, friends, anybody can join us. Feel free. Um, it all takes part. It all takes place in English, and we'd be thrilled to see you Sunday at two o'clock. Mark Schreck, I want to thank you for joining us for this week. You've given us such incredible insight about how Ukrainian Canadians are feeling, what's happening to their loved ones back at home, and just the descriptions you gave us today about some of the elderly relatives who are are stuck waiting, listening to the air raid sirens, listening to the explosions happening, and not knowing where to go or how to proceed next. So much transpiring in the hours to come. I want to thank you for your coverage this week. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.